Summer is here. It's a popular time for many people to move, but it is tough to find a new home or apartment in Denver right now. So we're going 360 in depth this morning, breaking down a brand new report out this morning. Show wearing uh, it shows where prices and inventory for homes stand in the Denver Metro. Uh, we're also doing the math to see how rising interest rates are impacting your buying power. Plus, we'll have a look at how Denver's rising rent compares to other cities in Colorado and others across the country. And if you are planning to move, we have advice from experts before you hire a moving company to pick up your stuff. Denver 7's Veronica Costa kicks things off with the latest housing report for the Denver Metro just out. And like every month, there's some good news and some not so good news. If you're looking to buy a home in Denver, we're going to kick it off with the good news, and that's that there are more homes on the market that just keeps increasing and increasing. The not so good news is so does the average price of a home. Right now it's about $810,000. Now, condos and townhomes, they're also a big point of talk here. They're averaging a little more than $500,000. When it comes to inventory, there are twice as many listings at the end of June compared to last year. We're talking about more than 6,000. And just as there are homes available, buyers are feeling the impacts of our slowed economy. Experts say many first time buyers who were initially pre approved toward the beginning of the year with a specific interest rate, they decided to wait until buying wasn't so competitive. But now that they've restarted that searching process, they're running into issues with affordability. Things are obviously changing pretty quickly, and I think we'll continue to see more inventory, prices slowing, higher days in the MLS, and more adjustments with that. And the upside of this all, according to Abrams there, is that these next couple of months, what's left in the year, we expect to see more and more homes start hitting the market there. In Denver, I'm Veronica Acosta, Denver 7. Yeah, a little less competition maybe. Thank you, Veronica. Uh, but some not so good news here. We did the math to show you the impact mortgage rates are having on the price you pay every month to be inside your home. In January, a 30-year rate from Freddie Mac was 3.22%. It was uh, so low that for a $700,000 loan, your monthly payment would be about $3,000, not including taxes, fees, or insurance. Well, last week, a 30-year Freddie Mac loan was about 5.7%. So now that same $700,000 loan will cost you more than $4,000 a month. And in fact, to get a $3,000 a month mortgage, you would now have to find a house for $525,000. That's $175,000 less than what you could have bought six months ago, yeah. all because of these uh, rising interest rates. Well, if you've ever wondered what it's like inside one of Denver's safe outdoor space villages, you can find out today. The tent village at Regis University is moving to a new location at 2nd and Federal on land owned by the St. Francis Center. And because it's a new location, there's an open house this afternoon. We thought it was important for our neighbors, our new neighbors there, to come and see what a safe outdoor site is all about. They can do that before the residents move in on Thursday. So the safe outdoor space open house is from 4 to 7 tonight at 2nd and Federal. The St. Francis Center says it helped 27 people from the Regis University site get into more stable housing.